Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Foltz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this problem walkthrough video, we will continue our review of linear equations to get you ready for linear regression. I know your time is very valuable, so let's go ahead and get started. Ethan, who is down here in the lower left, rocking his purple hair and for some reason sawing off his own leg, repairs household appliances like dishwashers and refrigerators. For each visit, he charges $25 plus $20 per hour of work. A linear equation that expresses the total amount of money Ethan earns per visit is y equals 25 plus 20x. So what are the independent and dependent variables? What is the y-intercept? And what is the slope? Interpret them using complete sentences. So the basic model, which is very similar to many other repair persons, is a fee to show up to your house or apartment wherever you live, and then an amount per hour to actually do the work. So this has happened to me here in my own house. So Ethan shows up and that's automatically $25. So we'll start here at 12 o'clock and assume he starts working at 12. And then for each hour he works, it is $20 on top of that. So $20, if it's two hours, $20 here. Now, of course, he doesn't have to work complete hours. There can be parts of hours, but initial fee of 25 plus 20 plus 20, let's say he works two full hours. Now, the first question is, what are the independent and dependent variables? Well, what is changing here? What depends on what? Well, the amount of money he earns is the dependent variable, and the amount of money he earns is dependent on the fee he charges and then the number of hours he works. So y here is our dependent variable, and that is the money he makes. And then x is the independent variable, that are the number of hours or time he works. So independent is hours and dependent is money. Next, what is the y-intercept and what is the slope? So the y-intercept, remember, is the point on the graph where this line will cross the y-axis. And the y-intercept is where x is zero. So all we do is substitute zero in where x is. So y equals 25 plus 20 times zero. 20 times zero is zero, so we have y equals 25. So the y-intercept is the point zero, that's what x is, and then 25 for y. So that is where this line will cross the y-axis. Next, what is the slope? So remember y equals mx plus b, we can rewrite that as y equals b plus mx. So right here, 20 is our slope, that's our m. And what does that represent? Well, that is his fee over time or per unit of time. And that per unit of time is the slope of the line. So independent variable is hours or time. Dependent variable is the money. The y-intercept is the point 0, 025. And the slope of the line, that's the amount of money he earns per hour, is 20 or $20. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.